Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to install Python 3.10 in Ubuntu 20.04 for those of you who want to enjoy the new pattern matching features available in Python 3.10. Now, there are two methods of installing Python. One, use a personal package archive, PPA. A PPA is a software package repository that is not an official Ubuntu repository. Ubuntu provides the launchpad.net website that contains additional repositories from developers. DeadSnakes provides a repository where you can download different versions of Python. This is the method used in this video. Second method is compile from source files. This is a little more complicated, but there's a link down below where you can find additional information on how to do this. The outcomes for this video are install Python 3.10 using a Dead Snakes repository, configure Python 3.10 as a default Python in your Ubuntu 20.04 desktop, install Vim and fix Python 3.10 terminal bug, write Hello World using the interactive console, and create an executable Python Hello World for Ubuntu. Requirements, Ubuntu 20.04, and an internet connection. Here is some additional info. I will also post these on the YouTube description section, software using this video production, and a disclaimer. You can stop the video and read those if you want. Here is the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS version. I'm going to go to Show Applications. Get, grab the terminal, and here comes the terminal, and I'm going to right-click on the terminal, and I'm going to simply say Add to Favorites, and then click on it, and by clicking Add to Favorites, it'll stay here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that it's all updated and uh, upgraded, and so I'm going to go sudo app update and then sudo app upgrade and the dash Y is just going to say yes. Of course, you've got to give your password. Whoops. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install a required dependency for adding custom PPAs. PPA stands for Personal Package Archive. Now, you probably already have this on uh, your Ubuntu machine, but I'm going to verify that. Yes, it's already installed. So now I'm going to add the Dead Snakes PPA to the Ubuntu list of PPAs. And it says. Press Enter to continue, or co Control-C to cancel. So once I've added it, now I can install Python 3.10. I didn't add a dash Y, so it asked me to continue with it, adding a Y. So now it's installed. If I check my Python 3 version, you'll see that I still have Python 3.8, but basically that's a default version. If I go to Python 3.10-V, capital V, you'll notice that I've got Python 3.10.2. So now it's installed and I can actually use it. In the next section, I will discuss how to make Python 3.10 the default version. However, you're going to have a problem with your terminal. And I'll show you how to fix that, but you're going to have to decide whether you want to make Python 3.10 default version or Python 3.8. Now, in this section, I'm going to show you how to make Python 3.10 as a default version. And let me close this terminal and pull up a new terminal. So basically, we have to tell Ubuntu that there's two alternatives. And so we're going to go sudo. Uh, one warning I have is that if, if you do set Python 3.10 as a default version, you 
may have a terminal problem where the terminal won't work right. And I'll show you how to fix that though. And so sudo update alternatives dash dash install blank in the USR user directory bin python 3 blank python 3 blank USR bin slash python 3.8 blank 1 for your first choice or the number one choice. This one we're going to go to I just hit uh, the up arrow to just copy the previous line. 3.10 and then blank 2. Then I sudo update alternatives dash dash config python 3. And so you got auto mode which says you can leave it at that. That automatically chooses python 3.10 because it's the latest. You also have uh, one, I'm sorry, you have selection 1 stands for Python 3.10 and selection 2 stands for Python 3.8 and the selection is the first column up above. So I'm just going to enter to keep the current selection which is star Python 3.10. Hit enter. If I go Python 3 version you'll see that the default version now is 3.10, 3.8, version and you'll see we still have uh, Python 3.8. Now one thing that'll happen if I want to go over here to the terminal new window and you'll see this spinning circle and that's going to create a problem because you can't get another terminal. Now to fix that I'm going to install Vim. You can do this with the nano editor however I prefer to use Vim because when I start working with the nano editor, I get a little bit of cognitive dissonance. And Vim comes on any Linux version. So I've just kind of gotten used to Vim. So sudo install Vim dash yes. Oops, I'm sorry. Sudo apt install Vim dash yes. I'm going to open up a file. Vim and the file is USR bin GNOME terminal and you'll notice at the top line it says uh, bang well comment bang USR bin python 3 and in working with Vim I just hit the I for insert go over there Python 3.8, hit escape, colon, right quit. I think I'll have to restart it. So there, now I've got the terminal working again. Now it's up to you whether you want to make Python 3.10 the default. There may be some other issues that I'm not familiar with when you uh, change the default version. But that's how to get around the terminal issue. So that's it for this section. The next section, I'm going to just write some Hello World programs. And, and you can verify that Python 3.10 works because now it's a default version. I'm going to just write two small Hello World programs to verify that Python 3.10 works. And the first time, I'm going to use the interactive console. Open that up from the terminal. And to do that, just open it up and say Python 3. And you'll notice that's Python 3.10.2. I'm just going to say text val equal from the Python interpreter print. Of course, I'm going to use an F string because that's so much easier. Hello world text val closing quotation closing. And it says hello world from the Python interpreter. So you know that works. And then I'm going to exit. Close that window. And now I'm going to uh, open up another window just to make it a little bit cleaner. And I'm going to open up a file. Actually, I don't have to use sudo here. Vim hello world.py. 
and so I've got a file open, a Python file. Hit the I just to insert. First thing I'm going to do is put in my comment, exclamation point, or bang. So our bin Python 3. And then I'm going to go for, again, text file equal from an executable. Again, print hello world text val closing. And it means here hit escape colon right quit. Do an ls. There's hello world.py. Of course, I've got to change the permission on that. Do a sudo gmod plus x so that anyone can use it. And then hello world.py. And then we'll run it. And then it says hello world from executable. So now I've shown that this Python 3.10 is actually working. Thank you for watching this video on how to install Python 3.10 in Ubuntu 20.04.